Hello friends, this is Sudhanshu and welcome back to my channel Automation with Ease. So this session is uh, just the extension of the previous one. So you can refer to my previous session of XPath wherein we have learned the types of XPath and you know constructing the XPath etc. So in today's session we are going to discuss about some advanced feature of uh, XPath wherein we start with uh, the ancestor node and uh, how we use ancestor node in xpath how we handle the dynamic elements how we traverse back and forth from dynamic uh, from ancestor node to child node and vice versa and uh, how we how we can do the indexing in, in xpath and how we can use the end and or in xpath okay so the application that i'm going to use is the salesforce today because uh, this is one of the you can see one of the application which basically provides you the dynamic elements and I think it's the best to understand the concept of XPath so I have a developers uh, login into Salesforce which basically Salesforce provide you to create your user and you can do your uh, you can do your learning of Salesforce so that's the free for all so that's why I've created one of my own so quickly we'll start with the first thing and sister node okay so what I'm gonna do is uh, let's say if I want to search something in here okay if I search for let's say if there is a drop down so you can you, you can correlate things and you can understand the creation of the X path from this concept okay so let's say if there is some search button wherein you're searching a text okay so I'm searching my name here and it is giving me three things okay so basically the first one is the account the second one is the user like my user name is also Sudhanshu in here and in this environment and my account is also created with this okay so what I want to search here or I want to click on one of these okay let's say if I want to click in here so I'll have to create the X path so press F12 so if you refer to my very first session uh, from selenium you'll understand how this grow path okay I think in the previous X path session also you'll find how we can it's basically the extension uh, you, uh, in Chrome so you, once you have grow path then things become more easier okay so quickly try to let's say if I want to click on here okay how do I start constructing it let's say my first instance is this let's say if I want to what we used to do earlier is basically we construct the X path like this okay which basically copy it like this and we paste it okay I'll show you what happens in here so this one is probably not giving me the dynamic one but uh, dynamic concept probably you will understand later but how I'm going to start constructing this so if you observe let's remove this I'm inspecting account okay because what I want to do is I want to click in here basically the Sudhan shoe of type account okay not Sudhan of type user which means I want to click I want to open an account named Sudhan I don't want to open the user named Sudhan Shubarmaya okay so I will traverse back from account to the parent Sudhan Shubarmaya and then I will be sure that okay I'm clicking on this one only right so how do I do that so once I go to the account okay so as you can see account in here fine which is if I'm if I want to construct the X path is it is within div and div has uh, what does it have let's construct it okay so here itself it is giving you something like this
okay so as you can see these blue dotted lines right which means and one matching node which means we are able to detect it right now what I want to do is I want to go back here and 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 click on the Sudhan Subramanya account okay so I'll copy it you just make sure that you're copying these things because what happens in crow path if you're hovering or clicking somewhere by mistake then your xpath will be gone from here so make sure you copy it what else I want is don't use this okay probably try to inspect this not this I want to inspect this one not even this one I'm bad this one I want to look at so it is in Dave Sudhanshu Barmeya. Okay, let's do one thing. Press Control F. Let's search it here. Sudhanshu Barmeya. It is giving me here. Okay. So now let's see. It is within a div span. Okay. And then this one. So we will simply start with div then span okay and what else span this is title and the rate title is equals to title see I told you I'm just trying to press the control Z yes control Y is giving me error okay see so it is giving me how many such as three matches because we are just matching the title which is three times over here right but I want to click on particular this one so there are two approaches okay either we can backtrack from account to Sudhan Subramaya or we can use the indexing which is one of the concepts that I wanted to explain here so how do we do that indexing thing I'll show you let's say if I want to choose this one consider this one is the first one this is the second one this is the third one right so you just enclose the whole x path into single braces and then Put this one one see it is giving me one matching node the first one right the second one the third one okay but if you want to make sure that you want to if if what happens if uh, you know if something happens and this uh, this will get uh, you know like uh, the order will be changed so what you will do is in that case I want to make sure that I want I am going to click on this one only the account okay so also I want to click on account which is Sudhanshu Barmiya right if I have multiple uh, multiple accounts with uh, maybe a slightly different account names then also it will give you you know with the initial search so make sure you're putting the whole text the, the whole account name here I mean just I mean to say account I mean to say the actual text that you want to search okay so what I'm gonna do is what was what was our expert in here so I told you that in seconds it will be gone or it has saved everything so let's cut it from here what else is wrong hmm. 
Maintenance look like okay. This is shouldn't be here. Single base. No, looks good. Dave spent titles down super me uh, index to why well, it is not giving me anything now. Okay, let's do one thing. Let's create it once again. Dave span. Or rather, what I will do is okay. I remember it was in because I have done it earlier as well. Dave span text equals to no, my bad title. Is equals to okay now what I'll do is let's save this as well okay we will constitute sorry we will construct the X path which will constitute both of these things okay what I want to do is now if I put it like that only in here what happens it is giving me nothing okay right now it is giving me account ancestor this is how I use ancestor Mm, what is there in the ancestor? Ancestor div. Oh god, everything is there in its ancestor. Okay, so it must be this Sudhan show must be where it is in div, right? And then span. So let's say how many divs are there between this is. I guess two divs. See, now it is giving something close to what we want. What we want to click or construct. And then we have a span. Right? And again, we have what text do we have? Let's say if I copy it from here. So leave the span part, copy this part, paste it here. Right? You have exactly one matching node. So this is how we construct this. Okay, as you can see that it is clearly showing me this. So we have made sure that I am going to click on Sudhan Shubhurmay of type account. Let's say if I want to click on user, I will simply just copy this once so that we have the X path. Now user. See there are two user. Now what we can do if you want to click on the first user, right? Again indexing part. Let's do some indexing thing here. Close the first part with braces. So it will become a valid X path expression. First one, see, it's very interesting, right? So second one, okay. So here, what we are doing is contains we have used. We could have directly used it this way. Text. So this is one more way of writing the same thing. Div text is equals to this. Why it is 
giving me why it is invalid okay it was under span right span okay there is an this place is here let's remove the span I guess see so because I pasted the earlier expert so it was giving me the contains but like this also I can use okay so just simply change this to account account okay to index will have to remove right see how it works right so we have done ancestor thing we have done the indexing part I want to show you one more thing see I mean this is how you can you know it's very interesting actually how you create the xpath the same xpath you can you can create in different ways okay so this is one of the accounts what I want to do is let's say in if I want to get the value which is under account name so what is the value of account name that I want to identify okay what we usually do is we inspect this and if I'm going to simply copy then you will see that what we call is the dynamic element right you are getting some dynamic ID the next time you log in or the next time you uh, probably uh, something is uh, upgraded it will change okay so in that scenario only we, what we prefer is like we have always creating the X path okay so here also we'll have to somehow go back to the account name or we can start from the account name itself and then we can go back and identify what is the value in there okay so what I will do I will start with the account name inspect this okay it is giving me within span contains class this 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 or contains this so I'll simply take this part and it is coming under div span okay, let's try the span it's always good if you put the div also but that's fine we can put it in span okay two matching nodes that is why so I want to make sure that I'm going here only right so I'll have to mention the class also that is why I think the crow path has given us this particular class which is nothing but here so how how I can construct this from scratch let's say div span classes copy the class from here sorry that brace is single brace okay now this gave me a lot of things right but what we want is we want account name so again uh, the last concept that I want to show you is this one right how we use and and or so here I'm going to use the and expression so this is the class as well as it has so we are going to write end and uh, what was that that is text right so end text so this is the way how we write text is we put the single braces now this is got a bit right now I hope, it, I hope that it's visible to you now okay what is that we want account name right what is giving me nothing 
span and text is equals to account space see it's giving one matching node this account name right now what else I want I basically want to go back to the parent node where this account name and and this text is there so if I want to check that what I can do is oh okay let's save this first otherwise we will lose it again okay okay I don't want to save it now now what will be the parent how we traverse to the parent something which which contains both of these the field as well as the text so which looks like this one this has both of them right so this is the actual parent how we can go back to the parent so it is in the div everything is in the div okay so I will copy this X path and again I will go back to ancestor div which is giving me everything as soon as you put the second index it should give you something close to fine so we have found it right if I'm going to put three what it gives me the wider one no I want the closer one okay so here now again paste it uh, what I want is I want the text here so where is this text within this div I have other divs okay let's search name in here title title div so there are a lot of actually okay I'll show you so what we can do is this is in the span one of the span if you open it in a wider view you would probably able to backtrack it okay let's do it otherwise you won't understand so if you remember that when we created earlier when we located this element was within the span right it is showing it in the span just hover the mouse here and and check that this is in the span right which means let's copy this x path paste it here here span span right so basically there are two span the first one the second one and then you will get the text okay so this is the actual x path now you can reuse this X path which I believe based on my experience let's say if you want to identify what is the value there in the account number you simply copy the account number you replace this with account number see it is giving the value of account number which means you can reuse this X path just if you parameterize this particular value you can refer to my previous video for this how we parameterize this okay and likewise you can identify all other values which is the text field because in Salesforce there are uh, you know there's no drop down there's a concept of pick list and that works differently so which I'm not going to cover in this video because this was more relevant to how we create the X path so I hope that I have covered these uh, you know the major the important parts of XPath and it will help you in uh, in your automation where you're using the XPath so do post your suggestions and I think that's it for this video so I'm gonna conclude it here and uh, thanks as always uh, for your support and keep uh, watching my channel and do subscribe if you haven't yet you can share this video to the to the uh, 
to your friends who were in need of you know learning the basics of automation because soon i'm going to post more videos yeah thanks a lot bye bye